Alright, I'm back for the first level up. Going with a few points of stealth just to get closer with the pistol. And survival for the resting bonus. We want to reach bonus movement pretty quick. And going with weapon and shield style. Uh, that's gonna show what I also could have gone with with uh, veterans recovery. So you. Yeah. Get an ability like the fighter to regenerate health over time and this used to be better, the fires of the cozy palace. Um, used to be a retaliation but obviously they just changed it to be a flame shield. I wasn't even aware of that change, that's why I first clicked on it because I expected it to be something better. I didn't want to take it, but I just wanted to show it. But yeah, I haven't played Dakozi for a while. My first solo was a Dakozi. <coughs> yeah, just picking up the plants and the other ingredients here. And. I always go to Veilwood before I rest. Would do me good. So, if you have low athletics, that way you don't get um, tired again, fatigued, I should say. And I'm not gonna kill the bandits here. You can do it with this character, but um, Let's keep quiet. wanna do all combat against more than a single enemy with my party. So just gonna kill some of the single enemies on this map. And since I shot out of combat there, I got my flames of devotion back, both users in combat, but. I missed my first shot, so kind of got balanced that way. Yeah, so right now the defense not that awesome, but the fortitude looks lower than it is because against prone and stun we do have plus 20 so it would be 56 for those two and of course massive will because of high intelligence and resolve you don't need intelligence before level 4 I think no level 3 before level 3 that's when you get the aura but yeah I didn't want this to be a respect fest so I just went with it from the start <coughs> can't really pick up this supply right now but even though I always try to pick up the free camping supplies it doesn't really matter you can buy them so cheap and uh, managed to get the out of combat shot again and this time I hit for 28 damage so that's always nice Yeah, and I want to be. Um, I'm gonna play this with uh, story companions, but since the Cypher Grieving Mother is an act two, <coughs> I'm gonna go and pick up a mercenary companion. So I want to be level three before. Pick up uh, before I create that companion. So I don't really mind getting some XP here, some very little XP because of the Xaurips and that uh, discovering of 
locations. And here we, yeah, realize I shouldn't waste the flame of devotion on that guy. He's gonna die anyway. And now I'm not flanked anymore, so that's a good thing. Defense is not that high yet. And yeah, the second wind is pretty much the reason you don't really need to pick healing on the start. Um, Lay on hands. You can always pick it up later if you really need it. It's not that necessary since there's so many potions in this game. But sometimes um, using potions can be a pain because when you get interrupted, you sometimes reset to a, a attack even though you wanna drink a potion so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna pick it up later haven't fully decided yet but and yeah I go back by mistake forgot that there's only the camping supply left. Well Talking to this guy isn't really necessary I think and I can't really get any um, any good disposition points here but it's always good to be honest because there's some quests where the quest giver will not believe you if you haven't got one or two honest reputation points and here I realize that at this point I realize that I haven't gone for passionate and clever at all. Up to this point I didn't realize that when I talked to the um, Glan Farsons, to the so-called hut dwellers, that I took stoic by mistake. Well, no, rational I think. And the crazy thing is I make a mistake of picking stoic after this at least twice even though stoic is now something I'm not allowed to pick but I catch on to that a little later and yeah I realize that I can be passionate and clever now but yeah here yeah, I'm stupid and go with stoic I think yep no okay I didn't alright that's good Listen. Two tolls. Let that be the last. Three. Gods have mercy. It seems your arrival is ill timed. Three bells toll only for the death of a Radric. So yeah, my main goal is now to get to level 3 without getting too far above level 3. Um, the story companions go with almost the same level as my own character. But... since I have to pick up a cipher in the inn she's gonna be a level below so I want her to be level 2 and I don't want my character to be f too far above level 3 so I'm only going for quests which give very little XP here
and I think I'm not even gonna get to finish this quest here since I discovered quite a few locations and killed some saurips so if you go don't go and kill the xarabs you just pretty much need to complete this quest here which doesn't give a lot of XP but should be enough to get you to level 3 or if you don't want to discover all those lo locations yeah and I also could have run through act 1 was just 2 characters but since this is meant to be a tutorial on 3 characters obviously I'm um, gonna go with the hired companion but yeah one of the companions story companions I'm gonna get is in act once and it's pretty easy to get to him yeah yeah I'm just making sure the map is on my or the location is on my map a standboard so I can access it from anywhere And yeah, as soon as you have a party bigger than one, Hello. you will get slightly less XP per character, but you won't get, with two characters, you won't get 50%. You will get more than 50%. So it's not like Ball or Skate. I think even with a party of six, you get 50% and with two or three the difference is not that big <coughs> yeah just picking up all the plants just discovering the temple some extra XP no offense let's put this matter to rest over around shall we my treat hoping to soothe our pride with a few adira coppers eh we don't need your coin yeah here i'm stupid enough to go for stoic fire you're itching for the kindling touch of your sister you cocksmither i'll cut that barrel looking tongue out of your head this is a misunderstanding i didn't say whatever it is you think i said We've nigh quarreled. That's where you're wrong. And there we go, passionate. <laughs> and these guys only have one point of health, so it doesn't really matter how much damage you do to them. Not quite how I hope to get to know the neighbors. Thank you for your timely assistance with that awkward situation. Awkward uh, indeed. That is one way of putting it. Well, I suppose introductions are in order after that. Well, I'm a wizard by training. And how exactly did you think... Yeah, here I get tired of listening to all of the dialogue. And here I go with Stoic again. Which is of course a mistake. Indeed. In that case, welcome to Guild. As should I, given recent events. Excellent. 
And here I do another mistake. <laughs> Picking up Alas. I didn't mean to do that. But I decide just to take his armor from him since it gives a little area effect bonus. Um, but because of this now until I get card Nua every time I walk out of an inn it asks me about Alice. So in future I'm just gonna try and avoid these kind of mistakes by just reloading a save but haven't done it here but I'm definitely gonna do that in future. Welcome. Farewell. Do. So yeah, I always have to give these guys a drink if you don't want to go the passionate way when I had the gold packed. But since there's just an easy passionate resolution here, I just went with that one. And yeah, this is what I was talking about. I have to dismiss. Alas, every single time I exit and in now. Oh well. Have you come here for me, dear? Or have you gotten lost? Ah, uh, it is both, I think. Yes? No, I think not. A pity that. It would be simpler. A mercy, then. Do not have to wander anymore, no? Alas, we are here, you and I. Wherever here may be. Is that what we're doing? Perhaps it just seems that way. Perhaps it is the easiest way for your mind to make sense of it. I think it is a very good choice. The world looks a little different than it used to, is that it? Feels like you're noticing things for the first time that have always been there. You have seen past the shroud. It only takes an instant. Your soul remembers, yes? Remembers how it sees when it leaves the body, like being reminded of a dream you had forgotten. You are a watcher now, and a watcher you will stay. What indeed? Long hours have many animancers spent studying such things. Not I, though. Not I. I'll tell you what I know, though, since fair is fair. And here we are, visiting you and I, and it reminds me of better times. Souls pass on, some say through Audra stones, which are the blood veins of the world. They leave the world for a time and are reborn into it, sometimes more than they were before, but usually less and seldom the same. For all souls there is a time where they do not live, yet have not passed on, and those souls roam the world, same as you or I, either leaving or lost. But no one sees them because they have forgotten how. A watcher sees, though, knows what to look for, and sometimes they know a person just by looking at them, know where they've been in ages past when their bodies were other bodies see memories even their owner can't recall. A 
wonder to behold when all goes well. A wonder. Oh, nothing to be afraid of, I'm sure. It's just much to take in for some. Sometimes there's trouble sleeping or other difficulties. You should see old Meerwald. He could tell you much more than I. A watcher just like you. Helped many in his day. Took up in an old keep no one would claim. Not far, not far. Kagnua, beyond the Black Meadow. He will welcome the company. Goodbye, my dear. It was lovely visiting. Alright. So now I got my level up. That means I don't need to do the quest before I get my cipher. But yeah, it's just because I discovered so many locations and fought some saurips. So I'm gonna go with a bit more survival here. I'm just gonna go for two laws since it sometimes gives you some dialogue choices. For Sladex, just because there was a point over, I didn't really need to take it. And once again, I forget forget to activate my Zealous Aura, but I realize it pretty early. And need some money here, but just gonna sell some stuff. Keep the crossbow. And the small shields. And since I'm not sure how many hatchets I have, I'm gonna keep them too. There we go. Let's do the cipher. And yeah, the stats of the cipher in the game, Grieving Mother, are not very awesome. I went with a moon god like here because I'm not gonna I'm gonna pause here for a second. Um I went with a moon god like because I'm not gonna play the cipher for very long. Obviously just until I reach Deerford Village, so um, just for the looks, because I think um, with the specific head style, I'm gonna change, gonna gonna choose here. I like the look of the Moon God, like as a cipher, it looks pretty awesome for the kind of thing it's supposed to represent, or the kind of character. Um, but also, of course, if you get aggroed by mistake, then the healing is kind of neat. I'm gonna go with the Wisp of Treason for Charming and Soul Shock. It got better. Um, both these skills, gonna pause for a second again, both these got buffed as you can see. Wisp of Treason is fast now. That's pretty awesome. And Soul Shock got a better area effect. And I think even the damage got buffed a little. I might be wrong on that one, but yeah. After the area effect got nerfed before, it got buffed up again. And yeah. I always go with these stats, and really only if I fight monks or spirits, I regret it. But. The way I play, I never get um, aggroed. And for max perception here. I never get aggroed by normal mobs. So, for me, there's just no reason to not go with ideal stats. And this time, I choose Dexterity over Might because it's a caster. I would probably for purely 
offensive character I would probably go with Max Might, but since the Cypher also is reliant on the casting speed. And since this Cypher is gonna swap get swapped out anyway, yeah. So yeah, I like this look here for the Cypher and there's even a corresponding picture to it. Oh. And of course Mystic since it's a Mystic. I'm gonna go with the name Betsy, I've used that for Cyphers a few times because of Psylocke from the Marvel comics. Go with some athletics and get mechanics to four, so this girl's gonna be my mechanics bitch. And not really sure what to take here. Um I end up taking antipathetic field, I think. It's kind of useful if you charm an enemy that aggroed you. And I went with the um, with the damage talent there. 